uh, just uh, Linux is not a half day classes, it's full day classes. Lot of comments are there. Okay. So just I want uh, to put a full day classes. So today and tomorrow full day classes are there. So um, compulsory be there in afternoon also. That's it. Okay. Because a lot of comments. Timing, okay. sir. Yeah, tell me. Timing, timing. What it is? Sir, timing. Timing three to six. Three to six. Okay. So we'll see. So today, first of all, uh, we'll see the line. Linux. So before going to anything, so that's we have to start with the operating system. Again, this also comes under operating system only. What is operating system? System nothing but a program or a software. Very good. Which interacts with the uh, hardware, main CPU, RAM, motherboard, all the, all the components. Like uh, to work with any hardware component, we need a operating system interaction. Okay, interacts with the hardware and user. Okay, and also runs applications or a commands or user commands okay All right. okay it runs on applications run the commands application means application services application services what are the name you put it and commands that's a operating system operating system majorly two parts operating system we can divide majorly in a two parts so one is kernel another one is shell operating system divided into two parts kernel and shell any operating system whether it is windows or linux or unix whatever it is it's divided into kernel and shell again what is this kernel kernel interacts with the hardware next shell interacts with the user actually say shell give you user interface And also runs applications and commands. Okay. Runs applications and commands like that. So we don't understand how to interact with the hardware. So we give a interact with the shell only. Shell, shell understand what is a user command or a user uh, information or a what are the user command or application, whatever it is. Okay, so user command. It understand what user command and converts into kernel understandable language. Okay, and kernel kernel converts into machine understandable language. Okay, and runs the uh, command and gives the output to the shell shell present on the terminal. So this is the process. Normally, the diagram is always is look like this one. Put a little smaller. So the core is hardware. You have your hardware and the kernel or kernel. Some people spoke like you know kernel, kernel. <coughs> so only a difference is 
language. Kernel is on top of hardware, so it interacts with your hardware. Okay. Next, <coughs> the shell. The shell interacts with a user and user comments. Okay, this is the uh, shell related, it's the kernel related. So this is like a user commands, different type of user commands or user uh, input, whatever it is, you can tell it. Otherwise, you can remove that uh, ring also, no problem. Okay, so this is a basically uh, architecture of operating system. The basic architecture of operating system. So when you say architecture, so when you got an architecture, that's the meaning is kernel and shell. Okay. Linux architecture or Unix architecture or Windows architecture, whatsoever it is, it is there. So kernel uh, stand with the shell. Okay. Now, what kernel will do? So I, I said uh, the kernel is interacts with your hardware. So wh what it will do with the hardware? It is what it is to like it will manage process to process management, disk management. Of course, boot management is also there. So when you start your computer, how to boot? So that is also will be there uh, based on the kernel. Only. So process management, disk management, network management. Um, Network management, uh, so what process means? So device management. So you have a device like a memory management. Memory management, like that. So you have a RAM memory management, you have a swap memory, so it's memory management. CPU interaction, so how to run a process, foreground process, background process, process management. So you have a disk like uh, how to align the disk uh, partitions, how to interact with the disk like these are all uh, disk management related. Network management. So what is a network management? You are connected with the network, assigning an uh, um, IP address, how to send a packets. Okay. So when you receive a packet, how to get it? So like that is completely kernel management. So device management, any device like audio, audio devices or video devices, printers. So how to communicate with them that is also decided by. That is also handled by kernel only. Next is a shell. Shell so different type of shells are there. So in a shell comes under shell what it will do. It interacts with your hardware. You given a command I'm typing. So shell understand what I'm typing and convert into um, uh, kernel understandable uh, way. So like a low level language and then it converts into binary level language to process it, right? So I'm interacting with my GUI terminal. So you know, different type of terminals are there. So where we put a inputs, give a commands and see the output. You see the output, right? So like what I'm typing, I'm seeing it. In Windows, we don't feel much uh, like a kernel shell kind of stuff. But if you go to the Linux and Unix, you feel like this is a shell we are interacting. This is output like that because uh, it's a mainly basically it's a CLI base. OK, so what are the different type of shells are there? Bond shell. On again. Shell. This is also called as a bash. So this is currently we are using currently we are using bash shell okay uh, other than that one t shell is there t shell is there okay z shell is there like this so different type of uh, shells also there okay so c shell c shell t shell kind of stuff this is only sh they put a sh SH or bond shell is actually both are same. 
some PPTs they will uh, separately write. OK, so born shell. Born again shell. Born again shell. Okay. So these are the different type of shells are there. Uh, usually when it is comes to Linux. And Unix. These are the shells. Okay. Any Linux Unix like a system. Any any uh, Unix. What is Unix like a system means? Unix is the main operating system and a lot of operating systems later derived. Uh, into different. Uh, operating systems and uh, one of the thing is Linux. So if you develop any Linux based operating system, so the uh, obviously they are called that one as a Unix like a systems only. OK, even though it is not a Unix. OK, there is a little confusing words are there, but this is the main important guys. The first one is Linux architecture or operating system architecture. So both kernel and shell kernel interacts with your hardware shell interacts with your user and give the users interface to give. Uh, input and show the output and also it runs on applications and commands and services. OK, and it. OK. Next shell uh, sorry kernel so manages your hardware means process management, network management, device management, memory management, disk management like that. It, it will manage. Uh, the your hardware and a shell so different type of shells are so there. So basically when you come to the Linux and Unix shell, it is a born shell, born again shell, T shell, C shell kind of stuff. OK, in originally here it is. UI CLI UI. So this is a different type of uh, uh, user interface are there. OK, user interface there. Graphic. Graphical or a graphic user interface. Means Windows is a basically a graphical user interface. It means you no need to do all the commands and all we do. we less do command kind of stuff mostly by using a mouse uh, or a keyboard you can able to interact with it okay so like i want to see something like i can go and um, work on it right so last one like this one so i'm interacting here i want to do some work here so i'll do it so this is Graphical user interface CLI command line interface. The command line interface. So everything we do in the commands only. OK, so for example, I want to see uh, what are the process running. This is the task list command I given. A command is task list command. So what are the tasks uh, running? So it is showing in the in the my. So, so I didn't given any option just to only I given a task list. See uh, what are the process name? What is the process ID and uh, memory use is like that? It is and displaying here. OK. This is a command line interface. I want to see what are the users are there. So these are the uh, users are there. So if I want to do any task like I want to kill the process, I want to do some work so I can use with the commands only. So that is only commands wise like it is a CLI command line interface. But Windows is not purely command line interface. It's a basically graphical user interface. Of course we can use command line interface also. Linux is basically command line interface. OK. So there is a one only one single uh, direct uh, physical terminal is that is graphical user interface. OK, uh, so reverse side. Windows more graphical user interface. Linux and Unix more CLI interface. Even though Linux and Unix having a more um, uh, even though they have a graphical user interface, 
but we use very less. It's not much powerful as a Windows. OK, like for example, you want to do disk management. You want to do disk management in GI mode. What we doing it? We open a disk management. OK, so we go to control panel, administrative tools and find where is the disk management and we do the disk management directly. Shrinking volume, creating partitions we do in a GI mode. But uh, in a Linux kind of stuff, for example, CLI mode. So we do like a. Uh, yeah, we do want work here, so we have to I have to open CMD. So run as administrator type you have to run to open. OK, this is the disk part. Uh, list disk. Uh, because it's my mistake. Uh, the letters are very small. OK, like this. I went to the disk part command and list disk so you can see. What are the disk uh, I have connected? What is MBR and GPT? I have to select a disk and I have to create a partitions inside if it is available. Shrinking volume like that, so you will get it. Okay. So that is. But I can't show you the, what is TUI here because uh, in Windows the TUI related things are removed. Still, it is now newly it is introduced in the Linux. It is a terminal or text based user interface. Okay. Terminal or text based user interface. So, you know, you know, you know, in some places they have said like a text based. Some places this is tunnel based. So it meaning is. So it is difficult to do a few tasks in a CLI. OK, so like a network management it's very difficult to do with the CLI part. It used with the TUI because of you can simply using up arrow down arrow uh, space bar like that. So we can able to select something uh, disabling enabling uh, giving a IP address. OK, like this so they will get it. Okay. In you, I, I want to give an example so then uh, you can remember that one now only. So, like it is NMTUI or a firewall TUI. Okay, so you can search for a certain administrative things uh, like that. So, you can go to TUI. <laughs> Linux. Text based user interface or a terminal based interface. This is also telling same thing. OK, so. So you'll get a uh, this kind of um, peer based interfaces. OK, not this is not the one. This is the one. Look like that one. So it's not exactly, but it is look like that. One. So these are all like a uh, maybe if you remember. Uh, your turbo C. If you remember the turbo C, then obviously in the turbo C we will get it. Um, uh, we will understand uh, like you are saving, you are typing, yes, C, C plus plus kind of stuff. You are saving, you are running. So obviously uh, the mouse you are clicking, but it's not purely uh, GUI. It is internally whatever you are working, it is like a TUI type only. Okay. So that is. So I, I didn't uh, so I told an empty UI, but. Like you want to manage a firewall, so the firewall. OK, you can use the comments also, but sometimes. It is uh, so for some people it is difficult to manage the firewalls built in firewall. Uh, with the CLI. So what they will do, so they'll put a command like a system config 
um, a firewall ty so then obviously uh, the ty related things will open so it look like this one exactly okay you can enable disable firewalls you can create exceptions and all like this you can able to do it okay just for an example i am giving this one terminal based user interface or a text based user interface uh, what are i covered operating system kernel shell so here it is obviously type of oss when it is comes sos nos it's a common one so to know it so whenever you come to the any operating system learning you must know this. simple operating system what is nos anyone network operating system okay so example of simple operating system windows 10 8 7 very good so windows 10 okay ms dos there are simple operating system basically it is any desktop operating system the workstation whenever you come like a workstation then people will get doubts or what is workstation workstation means the people who work uh, people works on a system that's a workstation generally our desktop operating system also called as a workstation systems okay any general operating system like a desktop based operating system is is a simple operating system so it won't provide any network related services that's the simple Network operating system. Windows servers, Windows NT 2000, 2003, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019. Okay, 2022, what it is? Windows servers, server operating systems, Linux servers, Unix servers, like that. Basically, server based OS. Network operating systems. Next, based on a uh, multi user uh, number of users and uh, based on users and uh, task, it is also called uh, like a simple uh, single user, single task. Okay, single user, multi task, multi user, multi task operating. Okay. Uh, it is a very very small kind of stuff uh, when you see it is but it is sometimes we don't expect a, um, a very small question also very important sometimes okay multi-user multitask again we'll go to the example single user single task is ms dos type okay microsoft dos operating system will come single user multitask is a normal windows of windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 so these are the uh, operating systems will come multi-user multitask so windows 10 is an example um, windows servers also comes under that one only. for example 2019 just example addition but you can say like a windows 7 or a 2016 server also comes here only okay just i am giving an uh, version wise any windows operating system so basically windows operating system all type of windows operating systems are basically multi-user multitask multi-user multitask again linux unix operating systems comes under 
multi user multi task okay so what is a multi user multi task means we know windows operating system at a time only one user can able to access right one user uh, log out and another user can able to log in so in a windows in a single windows operating system so if you take it run we can run multiple operating systems so multitasking means i'm running a web browser i'm running a whatsapp application i'm running a, another uh, web browser microsoft edge uh, teams i'm running or notepad i'm running and okay, paint brush is also running meaning is it is multitasking multitasking we are doing in windows but how many users if one user is log in other user cannot log in same time same time you have to log out from here and then only i can log in with the other user you can have a 10 users but only one user can able to log in at a time okay but in a linux it is not like that we can log in with uh, in linux and unix so i put a linux only here but in linux and unix we can have a multiple users and also we can log in to system directly uh, almost like a uh, seven users also we can switch from one user to another user okay if you have a need a work you can switch from one user to another user also you can log in at a time and also you can log in using a ssh connection like a remote access using ssh connection different terminals from different uh, uh, terminals you can log in with uh, multiple users and multiple times also so that's why i put a user to here user to means physically you can access as well as a remotely you can access with a multiple users at a time so that's a, a one difference between windows and linux guys that's so important question is what is the difference between windows and linux okay so here it is so this is the basically what is operating system and types of operating systems simple operating system network operating system and uh, user and uh, task based like a single user single task single user multitask multi user multitask next when it come to the linux so first of all the unix uh, sorry uh, operating system initially it is a um, uh, assembly code okay so when voice is built it is a assembly language does not mean what we what language we use in our assembly it is not like okay it is assembly language does not mean okay uh, does not mean uh, um, what language we use in our assembly it is not that one the, the assembly language is it's a direct coding your micro uh, your microprocessor kind of stuff example it is look like this one mo a comma 10 meaning is a is a registry and you put a 10 in this inside uh, you add uh, a comma 5 means so a value is a 10 and next uh, adding a 5 to a so like that it will be there so you have to see the result then we have to give the result kind of stuff it is just basically guys you don't need to understand anything just how it is look like the language you type the commands to load the program okay so later on days when c language came to market so they develop the operating system with the c language and c++ later of course again in windows is divided so windows comes with the dot net okay so then uh, uh, it is uh, linux and unix with the c and c++ languages only okay so basically it is uh, the linux is a c language and uh, interpreter directly okay unix and linux is basically c language we can run directly no need of turbo c kind of stuff uh, nowadays we required i think so we have to check it properly okay so initially it is assembly language so later it is so when we are 
talking about a uh, uh, Linux, so first we have to talk about a uh, Unix. So later it is developed language. The who developed the uh, uh, C language? Anyone? CSC people are there, no? CSC, IT, ECE, ENTC. So, Dennis Ritchie, sir. Then, uh, no, uh, 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 that's organization, not person. Even I don't remember any other person. Is it right? The labs. Again. Bell Labs, okay. Then is uh, um, Riches, right? American computer scientist, 1970s only. Formerly AT&T, Bell Laboratories. Okay, so Bell Labs. And same, Unix is developed at same Bell Labs only. Okay, Unix is also developed in Bell Labs only. Uh, for short form, you put a Bell Labs, Bell Laboratories. Okay, so develop in Bell Labs only. And uh, Unix have its own distributions we have. Okay, so distributions of Unix is also there. Okay, I will I will forward a, a, a PDF also. There it is clearly mentioned Unix distributions and Unix operating system, very basics. OK, so that is also go through once. So Unix distributions also there. So they distributed like a AT&T. AT&T uh, kind of stuff. Uh, different organizations came up and different uh, Unix operating systems are uh, distributed. I'm giving only one or two names. HP Unix by HP. OK, HP Unix is so a HP. OK, so it is a dedicated hardware and all uh, Unix operating system means you want to run this HP UX operating system uh, on uh, any machine. You can't run it. You have to run only in the HP UX hardware only. So HP dedicated servers only you can able to run it. OK. IBM also developed uh, some operating system uh, that is uh, usually uh, actually I forget that one. Yes, by 400 kind of stuff is there. Second. That is only AIX. 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 Different organizations came up with a different uh, uh, kind of stuff. Um, uh, another one is there uh, BSD. BSD is also there. Uh, it is, I think, AT&T developed the BSD. I usually, uh, I don't uh, give a more importance to this one. That's why I don't remember that one also. Okay, uh, like uh, Z by OS, P O I X. Uh, okay, so portable operating system kind of stuff. One of the distribution is Linux. Okay, one of the distribution is Linux operating system. Okay, uh, that's enough for a, a Unix operating system. But I want to tell Unix is a, an operating system, but it is very limited distributions. Not a highly distributed. It is very limited distributions. Initially, they develop a one Unix operating system. Polaris. Current version is 11. Sun Microsystem. When it is Sun Microsystem, Solaris 9, 8, 10 is there, 11 is there. I, I know 10. 
11 uh, install but I didn't have to care. Now Sun Microsystem is under Oracle. Your Java, Java also developed by Sun Microsystem only. Solaris, Unix also developed by Sun Microsystems. Okay, so like that. So different type of uh, distributions are there. So one of the distribution is very limited distributions are there, but it is very powerful operating system, but compulsory it is you have to purchase it. OK, it is not free operating system. Of course, Solaris you can get a freely, but a remaining uh, operating system you won't get a freely. There is a free operating system is there that is called a free BSD. Free BSD is there. OK, so any operating system having a kernel and shell, right? So we have a, any operating system, kernel, and as well as a shell operating system. Is there. So shell part and kernel part is there. So what is the kernel part? So we'll see already we discussed that is kernel is a interact with your hardware, right? So Linus, Torvalds, Uh, Unix kernel and develop Linux kernel. Okay, so we say Linux is an operating system, but actually Linux is a kernel. Okay, Unix is an operating system. It contains both kernel and shell and uh, uh, Unix distributions are limited and also it is not much freely and it is not a open source also. You cannot uh, redevelop the Unix, but Linus Torvald as an engineering project, uh, he took a, a basic of Unix kernel and he developed a Linux kernel. OK. And distributed as a. So published as open source. You guys, there is a differences are there. Open source, free operating systems, both are different. I have an operating system, I develop an operating system. And I given an operating system to people freely. It does not mean it is open source. I develop a a code, an application, or maybe an operating system. And that too, uh, open source does not mean operating system. Lot of people think uh, open source means operating system. Not like that. It is open source means whatever it is, operating system or an application, the source code is available. So what is the open source? Source code available really and um, people are uh, like a people developers uh, can uh, modify okay so you can freely and uh, you can modify and redistribute Can redistribute as per your requirement with your company logo like that. Okay, so what is a open source means? Open source does not mean like a, a freely operating system kind of open source means is either it is an operating system. Okay, either it is an operating system or an application. The source code of that uh, operating system or application is available. And Anybody can able to you can means anyone anyone anyone. Anybody or I can modify and. Redistribute the code. Modify or uh, develop. And redistribute. OK. Either this belongs to operating system or an application. Okay. So 
So the source code is available. So you what he done? He took a Unix kernel and dollop a Linux kernel and published as a open source freely. Okay. So there is a two terminologies. G uh, LP general public uh, GPL general license general public license okay this is a, an organization give you a license to use this one and it is registered like a gnu just like a gnu gnu means gnu not unix okay gnu means gnu not unix so the linux is is given like this this is a GNU. So Linux is a GNU. GNU means it's not a line Unix. That's it's a very simple word. It's not a Unix. Okay. So Linus Torvald is a person who developed this Linux kernel. And it is available. Make it as available to anyone. Everyone. So anyone can download can download the kernel and develop anyone can be able to download the kernel. Develop and redistribute it. Distribute is enough. Okay. So that is what a Linus Torvald is that. So what is this? How to download and all? Very simple. Linux ORG is there. So organization Linux kernel download. Just you put it this one. You can see kernel.org not linux.org this is the kernel architecture see here it is you can it is available if you are a programmer guys lot of people having a doubts in their mind and as well as how to become something i'm giving you a simple uh, way to get into become a developer to become a developer what to do so you must learn uh, any programming languages, scripting languages, okay, and then uh, get a job. Okay, then you have to get a job or get a job and then you have to learn work in the development environment, right? So development related uh, uh, environment, you have to work as a developer. Then after a few years, uh, you can alone, you can able to handle some project and doing it. So a lot of people working as a developer, they don't develop anything, just what are the things are already developed? So they started uh, using it and uh, create some program or application like that. So they're creating a program or an application. They're not actually creating something from the scratch. Okay, or maintaining the projects. So they stamp as a developer, but still a lot of people don't really don't do any real development. Okay, so whether your profile uh, as you once you join in our, any organization, so whether it is are you a developer or not okay but a lot of people are having little dream like i really want to become a developer i want to become a like a lena storwall or a microsoft uh, uh, bill gates bill gates is a developer actually okay he started career with a development uh, apple is different okay so apple uh, what is his name the founder apple founder Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, very good. Current, uh, uh, current CEO. Apple current CEO. Apple guys. I think Tim Cook. Yes, sir. Tim Cook. Tim Cook. 
Steve Wozniak. Sundar Pichai. Okay, Steve Wozniak is uh, Microsoft, I think. Sundar Pichai? Google. Google. Very good. Is a, a co-founder of something like a, I, I forget is co-founder of Apple. Steve Wozniak. He is actually developer. Uh, um, Steve Jobs is like, very good in business. Business. So like uh, dealing with the people. As I know, Sundar Pichai. Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg. Ronald Wayne. I don't know. So. Funny, Bill Gates. Current CEO of Microsoft. Founder is Bill Gates, but Microsoft current CEO. Current, so no one knows. Yeah, I am not able to remo recollecting memory. That's why I am such. Such an I have a signature of him like uh, No, lot of people give um, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, quotations, right? So like uh, you failed something and no problem. You can gain something like that or, uh, you know, Lot of success people not required in education kind of stuff. But you can show them like you are really into you want to oppose those people. You can show them these are all uh, engineering backgrounds as you know. OK, so and uh, another hand uh, on, uh, on another hand. So almost all there are from background is engineering backgrounds only engineering as a final year project only all these things came up like Google, Yahoo, uh, Apple. Apple actually basically is engineering first mouse kind of stuff that is also came from there only. Okay. Of course, he's a businessman. That's a different point. So what is his first business? Elon Musk first business. PayPal. Jeff Bezos. Amazon. This business also Amazon. OK, so a lot of people are there, so we don't know. Also, guys, this is why I'm asking these questions. It is one of the important questions to know the CEO of multiple companies. Cognizant CEO, uh, Vipro CEO, uh, Tata CEO, founders and CEO. OK, founders and CEO both are uh, very uh, uh, important. OK. Like knowing about uh, some people and uh, better to know at least one or two people. The total not total story uh, at least some part of stories, some part of stories like uh, knowing about Lena Storwall or maybe knowing about how Bill Gates uh, Bill is empire in a with the Microsoft uh, or maybe how Jeff Be Bezos came or uh, Elon Musk. Jeff. Bezos and uh, Elon Musk uh, both are in a now popular in the market because of that SpaceX and uh, uh, their uh, Blue Origin kind of stuff, whatever it is. OK, so their missions like knowing about one or two people like uh, if you are, if you say in your in your interview, uh, I like cricket, so then definitely they'll ask one question. What is the question? Who is your favorite player? If you say like uh, uh, maybe a uh, Kohli or a uh, Dravid or someone, I, I don't know very much about a cricket. OK, so then uh, uh, you can say like, uh, you know, um, uh, then they will ask uh, what you know about him or any matches or anything. So when it is comes in that one, people who are not more uh, not into the uh, other stuff, also you can develop the stuff which is available here. 
in, in, a, in a technical manner. Mohan is saying it is it is hard to understand. Uh, uh, which one is hard to understand? Currently, what I'm telling. Sir, I want to go to the call and tell us around a shortcut. I didn't get it again. Sir, we hard words type on a sir. I need to get call and tell a custom on the easy way. Low. <laughs> um, no, problem, no problem. I will I will give you a lot of small summary so then we'll fix to that one all. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. So few words compulsory you have to go with it and uh, we can't do anything. Okay. But that's the line exit is. Uh, yeah, where I'm stopped at uh, CEOs, so compulsory go to CEOs of different organization. Uh, next one, uh, guys, next one is to become a developer. So you want to become a developer on yourself, like you can create yourself also, or you can take any open sources and you can develop and redistribute it. That is also you can become a developer. So you don't need of any organization to offer a job to become a developer. If you are uh, having that kind of zeal or uh, you want to learn something, you want to do something, you want to become a developer. So you don't no need to wait for a, some company to offer a job as a developer. Simply I'm telling. So go to any open source kind of stuff like a Linux open source is there. Uh, Proximax open source is there. OK, OpenStack open source is there. These are all open source kind of stuff. So you can go to that any open source and uh, try to download and dollar so try to understand it it may take time as a single person as you do it or you can group with uh, uh, people who are involved in that one and take uh, ideas and uh, um, develop for the purpose even if you fail no problem so you will get a lot of ideas from the failures that is called a failure no problem that's a real failure successful failure if you fail to do some really Failure does not mean sleeping. OK, right. so this is a Linux kernel latest version is. It's a 5 or 15. Mine uh, 17.2. So this is the Linux. Kernel. Version. Latest version. Because we are not using that one, we are using Maxon 3 version only. Okay, so latest version of the Linux is like this. Okay, so Linux Torvald developed the Linux kernel and it is further developed into operating system by I think. So, last point I will tell. So, Linux distributions, this is important again. Different distributions are came up means different organizations came up and uh, develop this kind of stuff. One of the organization is Red Hat. It is developed as a Red Hat. Enterprise. Linux. OK, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Fedora. Fedora, SUSE is there, open SUSE also there. SUSE, open SUSE, um, Debine, Debine, Scientific, Scientific Linux, Oracle, Oracle also develop. Oracle Enterprise Linux. Oracle also developed the Oracle Enterprise Linux. Nowadays we have a Amazon AWS Linux is also coming. Is there already? Microsoft also came to Microsoft Linux. Okay, development. Okay, Microsoft also came to Microsoft Linux and um, also 
double core version is also there so that, that is there okay so we'll keep it in a last that one so different main distributions are there sent voice ubuntu sir yeah, tell me sir what is the difference between linux and unix sir very good okay i will tell. so these are the different type of linux uh, distributions not only this one guys there's uh, so many linux distributions are there so like a uh, linux mint is also there okay linux mint uh, is there okay so there is uh, so many linux uh, type of distributions because of linux is open source and linux is like basically a kernel it is open source operating system it is distributed freely to everyone so anybody can able to go to uh, linux uh, this website and then they can download the kernel and they develop the kernel and shell as per their requirement and they can redistribute it so that is a main important point of linux is developed by linux torvald yes good question that is again what is the difference between unix and linux unix is basically developed by bell labs with maybe one or two and very limited uh, distributions and it is not a open source means any organization uh, anyone can came up with uh, unix and develop and redistributions won't happen okay it won't happen except one or two operating system most of the operating systems of a li unix is not free so linux is free operating systems are more means you can get any linux operating system mostly most of the linux operating systems are freely in unix most of the operating systems are not free okay linux and uh, unix differences so again uh, whenever you see uh, like i'm i'm not typing anything but again i'm telling so both systems are almost same both are almost same so both are look like same thing linux linux is also called as a unix like a operating system of course it is not unix but it is linux operating system linux is open source in source code is free so anybody can able to develop okay so both are secure both are cli based both are almost same means both are cli based os both are cli based os both are we use as a server use as a server okay both we linux and unix both we use server both are secure both are having their own security security also you can develop in the security part like that both are the same but linux is a open source linux has lot of distributions unix limited unix is limited distributions okay and linux uh, most of linux distributions are free are free so freely will get it like ubuntu you can get a free freely no need to pay anything okay uh, red hat you can no need to pay some required a registration some are not required registration also okay so um linux is not it's not freely okay it is not fit to yourself so solar is kind of stuff uh, is not there okay <clears throat> so of course both are powerful operating system both are powerful operating system but linux used by uh, um, yes linux no support okay 
no developer support or uh, customer support if you are not paying anything <laughs> you are not paying anything unix like uh, you purchase hp unix for example and the hp company will provide must provide a support right microsoft windows they must provide a support so these are the uh, things unix like unix developer support is not there uh, and customer support means you are using a unix operating system i am using a uh, saint os no support i am using ubuntu usually no support okay so you register with red hat maybe red hat people will give you support if you don't register uh, no support okay or very limited support So this is about uh, your Linux and Unix differences. Okay, Linux and Windows difference is also there. I, I didn't started a what is Unix also, Linux also, but no problem. So here it is compulsory uh, in a differences will go with like this. Okay. So Linux is again open source. Windows is not open source. Windows is a not a open source. Windows is a not open source. Okay, you cannot change anything. Okay. No proprietary. Proprietary. means it belongs to Microsoft license by Microsoft okay no need to take license to use Linux operating system let's take license License, license keys are required to use this one. Yes, very importantly, it is a multi user, multitask operating system. Of course, when you say same thing, it is also multi user, multitasking operating system. It is a multi user, multitask operating system, single user. multitask operating system single user multitask system case sensitive no case sensitive as your first time you are hearing about a linux is definitely little confusion is there definitely get into the mind is little confusion is there like your windows operating system windows server same thing go over the linux also but you need a little patience so you have to go uh, with a little slowly then you will understand okay so confusion is common guys so don't worry like uh, so you don't understand does not mean that you cannot understand what i'm telling you don't understand you don't get it does not mean uh, I don't I can't understand Linux is not like that. It will take time for some people. It may they grab in a one time only. Some people may take little bit time. OK, but because it's uh, completely new, completely the wording and sentences are completely new for some people. OK, there is a lot of reasons are there. Um, uh, about like why we won't get uh, certain new things lot of reasons are there I'm, i will tell that uh, reasons uh, if possible but currently not okay 
but try to be open minded to learn Linux. It is very funny, very easy, very funny kind of stuff. Okay. Linux is user friendly. Windows is user friendly. Not much user friendly. Okay, I said user, uh, it is more funny, but not much. Okay, it is little harder. It's a hard friendly type. Usually I told Windows is user friendly, Linux is a hard friendly. What is the meaning of hard friendly? Like you join in a new college joining in new college or new course or maybe organization you join okay so everybody say hi hi hello uh, how are you like if you join in hyderabad so it's mostly user friendly type okay so yeah even though they don't know you about your background or your language or anything people uh, try to become uh, friendly with you so right so that's kind of places or uh, people it depends upon that one okay so user friend like you came to Vishagavatna mostly user friendly even you don't know so people will come and talk to you that is user friendly you go to certain hard places maybe you can see some movies like a uh, fraction movies or a uh, rowdy type of movies or uh, you know that kind of mafia type of movies like uh, you know that kind of areas you see uh, not much friendly people it means there are very good people if you are uh, try to understand them and you become a friend, then you don't leave them. Okay, automatically you don't leave them. So like that kind of people it is. Okay, so that's a little bit hard to understand them. Not much easy to become a friend. It is a little harder. But if you understand and you are going with them, then you become a friend and then 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 definitely it is. They become a more friendly with you. So that is user friendly and a hard friendly so linux is like that so linux is look very harder because a lot of commands only we are learning here but when you keep doing it so obviously you will get repo with it okay mm -hmm. Mm. yes it is a cli based os it is a gui based okay os interface is GI, powerful GI, powerful CLI. You can say powerful CLI, but this is powerful UI. You will get it. Okay, so that's mainly multi user, multitasking. Okay. Use SSH to access remotely. Use RDP. What is RDP? Remote Desktop Protocol. RDP. Remote Desktop Protocol to access remotely. Most of the time. So, of course. PowerShell is there, but that is second report. Okay, uh, not only these guys, so there is uh, so many uh, other things. Okay, mm. limited support of applications and all. This is basically server. Basically, server. So we have a desktop. And the server versions also there. Basically, servers. Okay. Uh, uh, I think so. That is uh, enough. Okay, we, we can add uh, later. Okay, some more things. Guys, some people will tell like a security wise. Security wise, both are secure. Both are secure. Security wise, both are secure. But you have to implement security in a Linux. But Windows is by default, it is itself default security is there. 
Okay, you have to implement your own security on a Linux because it's a open source. Okay, some people tell it is a virus free. Okay, so virus free because of. Okay. Linux don't run. Dot exes. Don't run dot exe. Okay, and uh, Win32 based applications. Dot net based uh, um, applications. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, so I, I leave it for a do, uh, with Linux don't run dot exe. It's a virus free. So most of the viruses created for Windows. So in a, the Windows virus. Okay. Virus for Windows don't run in Linux. Okay, Linux is a very limited uh, uh, for a desktop related kind of stuff. Okay, obviously most of the viruses attacks for a Windows operating system because Windows is a largely used operating system. There's a people are uh, keep asking two questions guys. So Windows, sorry. Linux is secure. Then what is the Windows is not secure. Guys does not mean like that. Okay. For example, I said uh, <clears throat> uh, I said uh, uh, Sai Babu is a good person. It does not mean uh, other one is not good person. Can you say like that? So now we are in a politics, right? So we tell like a, yeah, this party is a very bad party. It does not mean other party is also good. Both are worst, right? We are voting for a which is a less worst. We try to vote for a which is a less worst or a which give more money. OK, so that's the our our mentality. It is like that. OK, so same thing. It is line six secure does not mean. Windows is not. <laughs> Remember those point. OK, guys in interview. You can tell Linux is secure. Windows is not a secure. OK. But this is my words only. OK, Linux is secure. It does not mean Windows is not a secure one. OK, so that is uh, first uh, important. Keep it in mind only. If anybody say Linux is only secure one, Windows is not at all secure. So if he is a senior. Or uh, you are a boss. Then what to do? Oh, OK, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, OK, Linux is now oh, really sir. Linux is very secure. Windows is anybody hackable. So like that. So give the one expression. And leave it. OK, don't argue with them. So which is more secure, which is not secure. People telling guys again, I'm telling uh, because these are the questions people you will get in a mind in generally. So when it is comes to the windows, people say windows is very easily hackable. Nothing is impossible to hack and no one will hack. There is two state. I have a system. I don't know someone is hacked or not. OK, even though I, I use a two, three antiviruses, still there is no protection. Still there is no protection. If I use two, three antivirus also, Still there is no protection. If I don't use any antivirus, still you, you can't give a guarantee someone will hack your system. OK, hacking viruses. It's a purely depends upon uh, your things only. OK, so that's how to use it a uh, uh, different ways. So guys, people will hack your system. They cannot hack your system directly. They will hack your system. How? Based on websites you open, based on applications you download. If you use a torrent, so a lot of packets are incoming packets are there, right? So within the packets itself, there is a virus packet. Sir. You download some application from third party website, within that packet only there is a, a, a um, virus related or a hacking related things are there, like a Trojan, smallware, spyware, 
that include in that package only. OK, you, you open a web browser and you click on something and it is uh, your link. You are requesting. Uh, other person to take your system. By meaning it is because we don't know. No? So we, we got a yes or no button. You click no also same thing only. Yes or no. So I send a message to you. Uh, I have you open my website. OK, or maybe some website you open. I put a some link in that one. Press yes to control your system. OK, if not, no. And you press no. Then I take your system. Because that's the logic we think uh, in a, a by eyes, but actually the program inside as a no button is the same. Then what you will do? You don't understand. I understand. You got a pop up window. If you accept, press yes. If you don't accept, no. Press yes for accepting. No means not accepting. I have written a program. Press yes or no for accepting. I have written a program. Inside the program is if you press yes or a no, it's like accepting only. But display messages if you accept yes. If you don't accept no. Display message is that one, but internal program is different. Then what will happen? Can you judge which is correct, uh, which is actually happens? So that's why don't go with a certain kind of websites. Websites like uh, most of the websites is like a most of advertisements, torrents, pornographic uh, websites, right? So very dangerous websites it is. So even though you are uh, open in a incognito mode, uh, you know, don't accept cookies. Don't accept cookies also. Cookies, certain website cookies are uh, directly take your data from your system for their analysis purpose. Okay. So whatsoever it is uh, your machine, it is if you accept the other person, their links or uh, messages or maybe we can say their uh, um, applications. You may be hackable. OK, so Linux is secure does not mean Windows is not secure. OK, so Windows is hackable does not mean Linux is cannot hackable. OK, so that is it's not that one. So nothing is like a not, not hackable or a hackable kind of stuff. Basically, Windows Linux operating system don't run dot exes means Windows related kind of stuff. OK. Sir, what Windows, is why is hackable, sir? Nothing is not hackable. You said uh, Windows is hackable, Linux is not hackable. I said Windows is hackable does not mean Linux is not. I said that one. So how do Windows is hackable, sir? Yeah, I just uh, told one story. I send a link to you, whether it is Windows or Linux. It is I send a link through some website. There is a beautiful picture. And you clicked on that picture. You open my link automatically without knowing yourself. Then you send a request by yourself. Uh, to me by because of that link. So obviously the request is a background program is. Uh, giving access control to me. So then I will take uh, access control to your system or maybe uh, I can see what is process is going on. I can see your uh, system. What are the? Uh, on desktop what is going on? Anything possible, right? <laughs> so what is our link? To access my uh, remote session. Very big link is there. Uh, last time, yeah, this is the link. OK, so I put this link into small text or my pic small picture like that. You link it, you will join that one like that's just like a hackable means someone is came to your system and take your data or use your system for a, some different purposes like a, a different type of VPNs. Now VPN become a popular nowadays different type of VPN. I don't know that that kind of VPN now. OK, Express VPNs or some lot of VPNs are came. Still, I don't know what is the use of that VPN kind of stuff. OK. 
uh, how it is works and if they steal some data or not also i don't know okay so that is the thing maybe you download some applications from internet maybe you um, you download some applications from your internet so what will happen okay so application contains already a, a link inside a link or a, some virus inside already there you don't know you install the application you said like here yeah, this is a good one okay so then you install the application then what happened that when you install application the trojan is a one kind of virus okay so trojans malware spyware so these kind of stuff will go to your registry and hook to your registry means it is in your system so whenever the hacker or uh, the remote person want to access your system or use your system so he can use it okay you want to bypass something through your system you can bypass okay so like that so it is there is a lot of possibilities out there i said nothing in the world is not hackable kind of stuff including nasa pentagon that kind of secure networks high secure networks got hacked at least life in once in a life and there is a lot of stories you can search in youtube like a person who hacked a nasa who hacked a, a pentagon like that so there's nothing is not secure kind of stuff nothing is a secure kind of stuff okay it does not mean why it is like you know ios means your apple mobile phone is a more secure why not our uh, uh, android mobiles are not secure it's a very simple it is android is open source type anybody everybody knows the operating system how it is works on the second hand android is a more popular operating system mobile operating system we are using nowadays so people are more interested means with a lesser the trials they can able to reach the uh, different mobile phones hundreds of mobile phones at a time like windows is a more popular operating system in a world where it is a large quantity of people are using windows operating system obviously people try to attack on on quantity not on the something is this okay linux we don't use it for a desktop purpose so not uh, me, uh, billions of people like uh, uh, compared to windows linux is less you people are using it and linux is only dedicated for organizations not for a regular users purpose that's the point so it depends upon the hackers or uh, people who create a viruses windows gives more interesting because lot of people are using and it is very easy to go inside with lot of lot large number of users are available in the public network in the linux is another hand linux is they keep in the server room lock with your completely physically and a network wise security also they will provide using firewalls and checkpoint servers so you cannot enter into the linux directly why because of there is a a network is there and that way they keep it in a private only even though there is a public but still there is a um, um uh, vpn servers are there uh, or maybe gateway servers firewalls checkpoint servers ids ips after crossing these thing so people has to enter into your environment so that's the points i am using windows you are using windows someone also all, 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 all are using windows operating system so we are connected publicly connected directly to internet so that is why it is little easy and linux is no, i am not using linux directly that's the point yeah explanation is big and if i give more explanation you forget the actual point guys remember linux is secure that's it in mind keep it in mind linux is secure it does not mean windows is not and also there is another statement i told windows is hackable does not mean linux is not there is nothing in this world is not hackable if they connected to network or internet it is very easy to get control of that device or a system through internet so that is very simple okay 
satellite can be hackable. So that's the very thing. So I, I don't know hacking kind of stuff. Only once I tried with the Facebook only using a Kali Linux. So Linux distributions, one of the Linux distribution is Kali Linux. I only tried in one organization there within a friendly, friendly organization only. So like within a friends only we tried with a backtrack. Earlier name is uh, Kali Linux is ba backtrack. Earlier name is backtrack. So I use a backtrack. So and I created a, a tiny URL and I given tiny URL to one of my other person means another uh, person and he opened the URL. You know, he opened that URL in the in a in a in a browser and uh, Facebook page is open and he given username and password and uh, I got a uh, on my screen Facebook username and password is displayed. Understand? What I have done? I create a URL and send to a one of uh, one of my friend I means one of the person who is working there. So in very very old organization it is. So for try test and trial. So what I created in my in my backtrack or Kali Linux, I created a one tiny URL. I distributed the tiny URL to a person. This guy put this URL in the browser. A Facebook page is open. And he given username and password here and the username password is displayed here. So I can log in with his credentials, right? So that is anything. So that's a uh, point. Yeah, actually I want to give break uh, in a 20 minutes before only. But uh, I extracted here. Okay, just to give me a one minute and I will give you a break. I need really break also. Okay guys, the important points are what is operating system? What is kernel? What is a kernel? Interacts with the hardware. Shell interacts with the user. So kernel manages process management, disk management, network management device management and memory management. Shells shell interacts with user and different type of shells are there. So born shell, Bonnie again shell, T shell and C shell things. So we are using bash shell. OK, so different type of user interfaces are there. Geo graphical user interface, command line interface, terminal based are text based user interfaces. OK. Different type of operating system, simple operating system, network operating system, single user, single task operating system, single user, multitask operating system, multi user, multitask operating system. So when it is uh, come to the Linux, so we have to discuss about a Unix. Unix is also an operating system. OK, so same thing like a Unix also having a shell and, uh, and kernel kind of stuff. It distributed means it's developed in a Bell Labs only. So Unix has a limited distributions. One of the distribution is Linux. Linux is developed by Linux Conva, uh, Torvald. OK, the name is also there. Unix plus Linux. Sorry, spelling it. Linux Torvald. L not Linux. Linux Torvald. OK, Linux plus Unix. L Linux, OK. So took a Unix kernel and uh, developed the kernel, uh, Linux kernel and published as a open source operating system. OK, open source means the source code of the uh, um, application or operating system is available to everyone. OK, anybody can able to take it and modify and redistribute it. You want to do uh, develop your own Linux kernel version so you can go to this website and you can download it. This is the latest version of uh, Linux kernel. OK. Linux has a different distributions means different organizations came up and uh, uh, developed the different type of Linux operating systems. OK, both kernel and shells. OK, so Red Hat, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Fedora, SUSE, Udibine, Scientific Linux, Oracle, Saint Voyage, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, like a lot of diff different type of Linux 
distributions are there. Of course, Linux and Unix are both are like operating systems only. Both are secure. Both are work for a servers only. Both are CLI based operating system. Both are multi user multitasking operating system. But Linux is more is a open source type, so anybody can able to take it and develop and redistribute it. Okay, in Linux, lot of distributions are there. Okay, most of the Linux is freely. Unix is not. Sorry, more that one also. So Linux, uh, is Linux and Unix is usually no support for that one, but usually depends upon the organization. The support, no support kind of stuff is there, and also go with the Linux and Windows differences. So Windows is it's not a open source. It is belongs to Microsoft organization only. Okay, Linux is another hand. It is a open source, no proprietary. Lot of distributions are there. In, to use a Windows operating system, you have, must have a license to use it. And Linux, you don't take any license. Okay, Windows is a single user multitasking operating system. Linux is a multi user multitasking operating system. Linux is case sensitive. Remember that one. Cap letters, small letters are completely different here. Here it is no problem because no case sensitive. Windows is user friendly. Linux is not much user friendly, but still. If when you are need a uh, professionals to use it. Not by everyone. Anyone can easily learn. And use. OK, okay. it's a user friendly. Anybody a Windows can able to easily learn and Use it. That's why it is Windows is uh, popular. Need professional to use it. Okay, so we need a trained and experienced candidates only touch the Linux system. Okay, so it's a CLI based and uh, Windows is a GUI based. Okay, so here we use SSH to access remotely and RDP to access thing. So Linux is also we call it as a virus free kind of stuff. So it is. OK, like, uh, OK, so don't run at dot exe files means it don't run Windows. Windows virus kind of stuff won't work in a Linux base because a Linux. Uh, environment is different from Windows environment. So what are the things works in Windows won't work in Linux? So obviously. But if you create something for a Linux purpose, uh, maybe it will work. OK, so Linux is also secure. Linux is also called a, a secure one and there is a, some more differences are there. So we'll stop here here and we'll take a break. Guys, take a 10 15 minutes break. 10 15 minutes break. Oh, so come back at uh, 12. 12 five maximum, OK? Take a break.